Hello YouTube, our place back once again for some more No Man's Sky in the Overhaul mod and we've just come back through the portal after discovering that incredible prehistoric Diplo planet that was recommended to me by Rayron himself. Uh, so we're back on this lovely like white grass almost like ethereal looking planet that we were on before. Now I think we've explored this place enough so today we're going to jump up into the new ship I've swapped out for the Sentinel police ship just because it was the other ship that I really like the look of. So we're going to be trying this one out for a little while uh, and we're going to head off and see what other wonders await us in the beautiful universe of the Overhaul mod. Dun, dun, dun. Now there was a planet out here that caught my eye before. Is this the one? It was, the, uh, it was uh, like a purpley looking one. The same colour as the t-shirt I'm wearing today, actually. <laughs> By pure fluke. But I just realised that as I said it, I was like, yeah, it's the same colour as this. Is that, oh, it wasn't that one. I think it was called a beautiful, <gasps> that's the one. There it is. Yes. Okay, so this is the planet that I want to go to. Now, I think if I, yeah, okay, so it's labelled as a beautiful planet. So we're going to put that name to the test in today's episode and find out what we've got. Uh, I'm going to show me, like, leaving the planet here and like, coming back in. Because a couple of you guys have said I never, I don't think I've done that so far using the mod. I normally just cut to like when I'm on the planet. So we'll see what it's like to fly through the atmosphere and land on a new planet. And hopefully this will be a good one. I mean, I feel like if you're going to call the planet a beautiful planet, then you've got to be pretty confident that it's a good one, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what, a, like, if you're going to label it a beautiful planet, that doesn't really give much away because that could be anything, right? There are all kinds of beautiful planets. Okay, so here we are. We've got some crazy looking mist. I hear creatures. We've got these weird, gigantic, like, uh, marrow bowl type things. Whoa. Okay, they look pretty damn cool. I like the look of those little nifters. What else have we got? We have got... Let's have a look in the daytime. I want to I wanna see what this place looks like in the in the morning light. Oh, my gosh. What the freakazoid is this? They're like weird lily pad flower type things all over the place. Hell's bells. And they are also the same colour as my t-shirt today. I feel like I've picked the right t-shirt for today's episode. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we're going to have a wander through. This place is insane. Uh, let's have a little wander through and see what kind of stuff we... Oh, hello, buddy. Who are you? Oh, he's legged it. He's legged it. He's off. Little jipper. Off he goes. I love these uh, glowing bulb things. They look awesome. Uh, right, let's see if we can get on up over the top of some of this. And get into the actual forest of plants. That's weird. It's just like a pure plant forest instead of trees. I, I'd never even like thought of something like that, but that's pretty cool. They are freaking huge. Look at these things. Oh, I can't remember what they're like, what the flower's called, but they look like a real life flower, right? What are you? It's got a little tortoise shell on him. Oh, there's another one over there, but I've discovered him already. Why do I always land on a planet at night time? Why can't I ever manage to land in the middle of the day, huh? Huh? <laughs> uh, I guess... Oh, do we want to, like... Oh, my... Oh, there's grass and stuff as well. Okay, this could be really beautiful. Okay, I think I'm going to do a little wander around, and then we'll come back in the daytime, because we've got to see what this place looks like in the morning sunshine. Okay, here we go. We're back, and it's, it looks like it's just becoming morning, and this place looks freaking crazy. So the whole planet is indeed this weird maroony purple color that looks pretty damn cool. Uh, and these gigantic flowers are all over the place, even like on top of the cliffs and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, it looks, it looks pretty damn awesome. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pop into the Exocraft and zip around for a little bit here. Uh, and see, like, I don't know if it's all gonna be like this or if there's gonna be some other cool little bits and bobs for us to find. Uh, so I figured we'll take a little zip around uh, and see what we can get. There are so many things in the menus. Uh, which one do we want? I think I'm gonna go for the Roma. I always go for the little hover car thing, so I'm going to go for the Roma for a change, just to mix things up a little bit. Man, this I love this colour. It looks so freaking cool. Boom! Boom! Whoa, crunch. Straight through it all. Oh, <laughs> just smacked the rain. I thought I was going to go through the tree, and I did not go through the tree at all. <laughs> I feel like I'm driving a remote control car whenever I play in this car. Man, th this looks awesome. I love these, like... I love, I love that it's like a jungle, but instead of trees, they're like plants that are just super-sized. I just feel like that's a really cool idea. Imagine if there were like every different kind of plant and like bush and stuff were like made a jungle out of those. That would be pretty cool. I want to get on top of all of them. Can I sit in them? Oh, that's pretty cool. I can actually land in them. <laughs> I got a nice little seat. 
Oh, I like this place. It looks freaking awesome. I think the whole planet is like this. Um, so I've done a bit of flying around, obviously, just uh, while I was waiting for daytime. And I think the whole place is just this absolutely crazy, like, stunning, pinky color. Oh, look at that. It looks so good. It looks so freaking good. There are, like, there are so many weird things that I find when I play, like, this modded version of the game that I would never have, like, even imagined. Like, this was really weird. It makes me excited for the next updates and stuff for the actual game because it's, like, there's loads of stuff that we all want. But then, like, seeing... Obviously, when someone else makes something, there's going to be things that you didn't think of. And I know that's going to be the same, like, when they do the next official update for the game. There'll be stuff in there that we're expecting, but I bet there'll be some weird things in there that we weren't, like, expecting. And then we'll be like, oh, that's pretty cool. That's what I hope, anyway. Uh, right, I wonder what kind of creatures we got living down here. I haven't seen many creatures, so I saw those couple at the start when we first landed. I haven't seen many since then, uh, so I am quite intrigued to see if there's any other, like, really cool creatures here. Man, how cool is this place? This colour is freaking awesome, and I love this. Like, this effect is one of my favourite things. Like, one of my favourite little tiny details in the mod so far is that the trees have, like, growth, like, going up them. Whether it's, like, moss or plants or leaves or whatever, like, a lot of the planets have this kind of little touch and detail on the trees. And it just makes them, like, look way more organic and, like, blend in with the surroundings much better. I love it. It's such a good, like, such a good little, little tiny detail that's been added. Okay, right. And we see any other creatures around here. I haven't really looked for any flying creatures, so I could have missed. The sky is, like, black. It's weird. It's, like, raining ash and it's all, like, smoky everywhere. It's so bizarre. But then you've got, like, these super weird alien purple plants everywhere. Oh, wow, look at this. There's like a little path made out of the grass. We've got to follow it. We've got to see where it goes. <laughs> that looks really cool. There's just like a little walkway made out of these leaves. Can I squeeze through here? Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, man. The, the grass is pretty weird. The grass doesn't actually look like grass as well. It actually looks like plant. It looks like the little, um, the little plants that you normally see in the vanilla game just on their own blowing around. It looks like the whole grass is made out of that rather than just like generic grass stuff. What are these? Get out here, Phil. I love these giant like marrow bulb things. They look awesome. Uh, oh, that looks like a giant footprint on the ground then. Well, this is pretty special. I'm pretty happy with it. Like, everything I find, I keep thinking I'm going to find, like, some really rubbish, horrible planets that are just, like, barren and stuff. And so far, I've just been finding, like, weird, incredible beauty after weird, incredible beauty. And this, oh, the black sky. Like, the more I'm thinking about this black sky, the more I like it. It does, like, the black stuff, like, raining down does make it, like, feel like you're in some kind of weird, evil, like, volcanic... Uh, almost like the upside down from Stranger Things type feeling to it. I like it. Or, like, Silent Hills or something. Oh, oh, I thought that was a big creature, but it's just another one of those marrow bombs. Oh, this is a nice little hill. Alright, I'm going to summon my ship. Let's summon the ship and we'll... There's another planet right near here. Uh, so I want to see what that has to offer as well. But I like this one. I guess this was like a true purple paradise. I find, like, purple seems to be the running... Where'd my ship go? Did I not just land it, like, right here? What the heck? I'm so confused. Did I, did I not just call my ship and land it there? Or if I just confused myself? Oh! Oh, did it like get stuck above me or something then? Yeah. Oh, that is so weird! Oh, I guess because it's landed like right on these rocks. I guess like the, uh, the detection marker or whatever for that rock was like above it. <laughs> I love, like, the mountain. I love the uh, the different, like, levels of terrain and stuff as well. Right, yeah, let's go to the next one. Uh, what was I saying? I was just saying, like, I keep finding... For some reason, I keep finding loads of purple planets. Even in my vanilla series, I found, like, two or three purple paradise planets. Which is a bit weird. I don't mind. I, they look freaking beautiful, so I'll happily find more of them. But <laughs> just odd that I'm finding so many purple planets. Uh, what have we got over here? What was this one? Was that a, was this a frost crystal one or something? Oh, wait, that's not one I've already been to. Oh, no, it's undiscovered. Yeah, let's go to that one. I'm not even going to scan it. I'm not even going to try and find out what it is. No, my luck. Now that I said that, it'll be a barren. It looks like it could be a barren. It looks very gold. Gold, greeny gold from up here. So let's see what we've got. We are coming down to land, buddy boys. Oh, I don't know about this. It's looking pretty gross and green. Whenever you see, like, the brownie green colours from space, they normally end up not being, not being super pretty when you get down there. But I could be wrong. Fingers crossed. Let's see what we got. Pachoo! We have landed. 
Oh, is this another one of those like uh, underwater type planets that's not actually underwater? Is that what this is? Why is it always night time whenever I land on a planet? Like every single time I land on a planet, it's night time. Uh, let's see what this place looks like in the day. Holy moly. Oh no, we have got a barren. This looks like a pretty barren planet. Oh, gross. Oh, I wonder if there's any interesting creatures here. That, oh, there's, a, there's creatures straight off the bat that are flying. What have we got? Regular birdies. Any other weirdos? Any other little odd creatures laying around? Let's see. Discoveries. What did it say about this planet? It is a dehydrated. Oh, yeah. So the, oh, no, but it's got regular flora and... Uh, no, regular fauna and medium flora. Huh. All right. All right. Maybe we give it a chance. Maybe we'll see what we can find. See if there's any interesting creatures laying around. What up, fools? I'm here. Oh, don't fall down there. Do not fall down there. That would be a terrible idea. <laughs> that would be a great way to start things off. Just get stuck in like a never-ending cavern. What is... Ugh! Squishy monster ball. Uh, how do I put my flashlight on? That's something I should do. I never use the flashlight, but today's the day. Now we're on like a dark survival mode. Da -da. Creeping through this alien planet to see if we can survive. Oh, I hope it hasn't got those horrible little uh, glow tooth terror creature things that look like the things from Pitch Black. Whoa! Oh, that's bright. That is bright. I feel like I'm wandering through the desert right now. Any little creatures? Any little creatures? What up, chippers? There's got to be some creatures around here, right? This is weird. See, it says there's creatures and stuff, but it looks pretty barren. It looks pretty barren. I feel like we might be being gypped. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have a little look around. If I can find anything cool, then we'll come back here. If not, then I'm going to go and find another planet. Because there are so many planets for us to discover. And I want to see them all. So I'll see you in a second. <laughs> well, what do you know? We've just walked to another system. And it just so happens that once again, it's a purple system. With a giant purple planet right in front of my face. <laughs> <laughs> but this one is a frost one, sub-zero temperature, so I'm hoping it's going to be a cool, like, snow forest type place. I haven't really seen many of the snow planets since I've been in the overhaul mod. I've seen a lot of them in vanilla, obviously. Uh, but I don't really know, like, what the mod does to change them up. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see. I did see there was, like, one, the Gek Homeworld, that I found a couple of episodes back that was freaking awesome. So if it's anywhere near that good, then this is going to be a treat, for sure. Let's see what we got. Toff What's this place called? Toffee Zelda. Lovely. Well, I've been playing Zelda Breath of the Wild, actually. I brought a Nintendo Switch. So we already had one, but it was mostly my girlfriend's. Uh, and I just like felt like buying one at the weekend, because I had the weekend off recording, uh, like last week. Oh my gosh, this place is lovely. Oh, it's like another white... Um, I love the white grass. Like, that is something that's really... Mi like, the like frosty colour grass, I guess. Not really white on this planet. But that's something that's definitely missing from, like, vanilla. It's just not there. Oh, we've got these weird metal structures. Yeah, anyway, I was, um, I've been playing Breath of the Wild on the Switch, and I've actually been having a lot of fun with that. I won't obviously record anything from Nintendo for the channel, because Nintendo are super mean about all that YouTube stuff, and they don't let anyone get away with it, which sucks. Uh, but I have been having fun playing it, like, on my own. Drifter. I traveled 10 KSs. Man, I... Ooh. I heard... I thought I heard a big creature there. I thought I heard, like, a... <laughs> I've just realised how silly my face must have looked when I went <laughs> uh, What have we got? Let's see Any little creatures? Oh, there's loads of birds here Oh, wow Oh, wow Okay, that is a lot of dots Let's go see what they are Are we in for a treat? Holy moly That is a lot of dots Where are they? Are they flying? Oh, wow Oh, they're like little dragonfly things. Oh, that is freaking awesome. I was just saying, I did a Magical Worlds episode where I found butterflies recently. And I was saying how freaking awesome they are. I don't think I've ever seen uh, dragonfly-like creatures. That is freaking... St oh, there's a dinosaur in the background. Oh, I've got to get a picture of these. I've got to get a picture of these little uh, little dragonfly things. Oh, that looks cool as hell. <laughs> that looks super cool. Uh, I have to do it on the keyboard for some reason. For some reason, whenever I try and do the screenshot with my controller, like, half the time it works, half the time it doesn't. I don't know what it is. I think it's something weird that Steam does. Um, with, like, controller inputs. Where's that? That's... How freaking cool does that sky look as well? Uh, I want to get one, like, right down in the grass. But, like, still with them in it. With them all in it. That looks pretty cool, right? Oh... Man, I love, I don't know why, but I love the little, the butterflies and dragonflies just look so, like, special. 
whenever you find them, they're just like really cool. They're quite rare as well. I think that helps. Like I never ever find them. So when I when like when you do find them, it does genuinely feel pretty awesome. Now where's that big dino? Here, Bucko, come here. He looks freaking awesome. Look at this guy. Oh, he's got one really long leg there at the back. Are you? You're not gonna attack me, are you? Come on. We're, we're all friends here. Oh, back away. Back away. That's a warning shot. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I love the way the warning shot actually works. Oh, is that a creature? No, it's a bit of grass. I thought it was a creature. There is another creature there. Oh my gosh, he is a bloaty bloaty. Look at the size of this guy. Oh, he look, he's weird. He's like really uh, stout, but really short height-wise. That's weird. I don't, I don't think I've seen one that, that bulky before. He looks awesome. He's been having those rare candies. <laughs> <laughs> Look how bulked up he is. What the heck? That looks awesome. He looks like he is mean. He looks like a tank. Like he just run for a brick wall or something. Uh, where do I want the light? Let's put the light up here. Oh, that grass. The grass looks so good in the light here. I like him a lot. He is a cool looking creature. Okay, that's good. We found some. Oh, more little butterflies. Are they the ones? Yeah, they're the ones I've already got. They, look, they just look awesome. They look so beautiful. And these ones match like perfectly with the colour of the planet. It's like a little frost crystal dragonfly type thing. Oh, I can have the sunset in the background like there. Oh, that looks quite nice. Oh, I love them. I love them. They're definitely like one of my favourite things to find. Diplos, of course, and uh, butterflies. Or dragonflies. Oh, oh, there's a buddy over here. Oh, that is so creepy to just see them like standing around like that. What up, fools? Right, let's see what they have to say. Ah. As I approach the electronic life form, they instinctively start to analyze me from head to foot. They chitter animatedly, their head tilted to one side. They're flirting with me. That's what that is. Like. <laughs> the more... Whoa! Ship just flew right through my head. Uh, the more they study, the more the facility's resource vault continues. There's no facilities. <laughs> uh, I don't want to give them anything. I'm going to give them the rare ones. I learned the callback's word for rare. I'm going to... I'm gonna leave them there. Just, <laughs> just chill it out here on the snow planet. You get on with it, buddy boys. Oh, is that a creature or a shell thing? No, it's just another shell. <gasps> oh yeah, there's red dots. Oh yeah, there was loads of red dots, weren't there, that I missed. I need to go find them. Where are you, buddy? I met two aliens! Look at me making friends. Beautiful. What is this? We have got a little tiny Jiminy Cricket. Oh, he's one of those little, like, beaver things with the lights on his head. Oh, adorable! <laughs> they look that um, the white lights look cool on this planet as well because everything's like this snowy frost color. I like this planet. This planet has a really cool vibe to it. Oh, there's a, a police car has just gone past my window. Somebody's in trouble. Oh, look at that atmosphere. It looks awesome. Oh, that looks cool. That looks pretty. That looks really ominous, actually. Jeez, Louise. All right, I get. Oh, whoa, 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 buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh yeah, look at his horn. Get out of here, rhino face! You had to go. It was me or you, buddy. You oh, he's like frozen. <laughs> I killed him in like the best position. He's just like, <laughs> that's what you get, sucker. Oh. All right, let's go find some more creatures, I guess. I okay, we found a good planet here. I'm pretty excited about what else we might find. We got some trees. Let's go towards the trees. I want to see what a little forest would look like on this place. See, that's the other cool thing about this. Like in the vanilla game, you kind of either get cool snow planets or you can get like paradisey forest like bright color planets but you can't really have a mix like you can't you can't get this in vanilla like a bright red planet like a bright red or like green tree or whatever uh, that's like full of plants on a snow planet it just doesn't really happen but it, like something oh whoa this atmospheric nighttime light that I've got here looks awesome but I wanted to get one of its uh, daytime beauty I just feel like that looks awesome oh that that is a cool picture right that tree just isolated on its own Lovely. All right, let's go. Oh, did I scan the birdies? Come here, fools. I got them. I got hiccups. I'm trying not to hiccup. <laughs> I got too excited. <laughs> oh, I'm such a loser. Right, let's go. Where do we want to go? I want to go up and over this side. Because I think there were more trees up here, right? I want to see more snowy trees. Give it to me, fool. I love me some snow forest. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. We are up on a high ledge. There's loads of red trees. I thought I saw a yellow tree somewhere. I guess it maybe it was the branches, right? Any more creatures around here, buddies? I love all these, like, ruins and stuff. I don't know why, but they just add, like, 
they just add a lot of interest to the planet, like just seeing like shipwrecked and little bits of metal and scraps and stuff. It just makes them feel more alive. Whoa, that is a lot of shit. I love how many ships can like team up in this as well. I don't need the plutonium. Get out of my face. Have, there's got to be some more creatures around. Where are they all hiding? I know you're around here somewhere, buddy boys. They're all green. How many? Oh, how many have I discovered? Six out of six. Seventeen species of creature on one planet. What the heck? That is a lot of creatures. Jeez. Uh, right. Okay, I'm gonna take one more little look down here. Hopefully, we'll find another. I'm looking. I'm looking for a red dot anywhere. Aha! There we go. There's two. Are they? Are they gonna be underground? By the looks of it. They did look like they were underground, right? That's so weird. They've got yeah. They must be in like a cave system below or something. What? Anywhere else? Hmm. Oh moly! Holy moly! Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah, I love I love the ruins. They look really cool. Oh, I like this planet a lot. I feel like we found a pretty good one here. I might explore this a little bit more in the next one. Uh, or I might just do it off camera because I definitely want to see what other kinds of creatures we got here. But that was cool. Like a really nice frosty snow planet uh, to end the episode with. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed that one. If you have enjoyed it, as always, please do drop a like and a comment. And I will catch you in the next one for some more No Man's Sky and the Overhaul. Take care, guys. And peace. Peace.